Hey guys, Pop Scrap here. How we've all been keeping? Sorry for the lack of videos. I've been busy scrapping and cleaning out my metal detecting finds for scrap. Um, as you can see here, there's a lot of this is heavy. This bucket now, a lot of old copper coins. These are all old copper. Uh, the bucket. There must be easy. God, about 20 kilos, 40 pounds of copper there so far in this bucket. Um, I won't put too much more in this. I have a good bit more copper to put into this and that'll be full. So when I fill this, that'll be closed and put away, sealed. As you can see, these are the big oil buckets uh, for I get them for work. For when I do the chef in the kitchen for the oil and stuff, I can get as many as I want. So this is what I do anymore. I'm still filling tum like I still have a ton bag of aluminium out the back, but likes of um, copper and brass and stuff like that and lead, I put them into these buckets, cover them with the with the waterproof lids, and they wait outside in and pack them up, so they're easier to, to transport. You could have 30, 40 kilos in this, 30 kilos anyway, likes of this, and just handier to, to, to move around. And this, a lot of this, guys, this is all basically brass, pure brass. Dirty, like, do you know what I mean? It's dirty from uh, the been in the ground, but it's clean brass. Um, old buckles, as you can see, bullets, casings, shells, all old buckles that you get metal detecting in fields, stuff like that. Heavy, heavy brass. A lot of old keys. It's all good brass. I have a lot of brass to clean, which I have to get at now soon. So um, I'm lacking behind in the brass cleaner. And this is the alley. Yeah, I put aluminium too in these buckets, guys. Like so these heat sinks. Um, this weighs close to half a pound, this heat sink. If I could get 15, 20 kilos, like just easy, five, four or five kilos in that already. It's heavy. And if I could get 20 kilos in that, I'd be happy. Um, where I live, I have no walkway down the side. I have to go through the house with a ton bag and stuff. So it's easier if I can transport in buckets. For myself, so just a little update, guys. I'll have a video tonight. Me putting up uh, loading a few videos now again. So sorry for the quietness. There's been a lot going on. Been doing a lot of stripping wire, as you can see. The wires. I like the stripping wire machine here. I'm consistent at the and grind around, starting to clean up these old brass hinges. There's a bar going down through the middle of these. I don't know what I get away with sending them as is. I doubt. With steel bar in it. Let's see, could you? Yeah, it sticks to it, so I'll have to take the steel bar out or cut down the side with the angle grinder. But yeah, that's why the angle grinder out for it. There's a shitload of them. There must be 20 kilos of brass hinges I have. Come out of um, an old big building. Uh, I have the drill there for the wire stripper. Been stripping a lot of wire. That's in another big container. <laughs> another bucket hang filling. And Going through all this but wire, taking out what I can strip, and the rest is to be sold to normal household wire. So, yeah, kept busy, guys. Um, see you in the next one, guys. It won't be long. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.